Hello and welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Let's Play Civilization 5 with the Superpowers Clash of Civilizations, uh, sorry, Clash of Civilizations mod. In my defense, this is the second time I'm doing this intro ever, so I'm allowed to muck it up a little bit. That's how I choose to, to rationalize it at any rate. We're doing fine. We're doing better than fine, in fact. We're doing great. I have trade established with Bratislava, and I'm about to, well, not really about to, but relatively soon, I'm going to have trade established with Colombo as well. And that's going to be able to bring in a decent amount of money in the uh, in the war bank. But for now, let us move towards this barbarian encampment, uh, towards what is the European continent. Playing, of course, as Russia, and I really did not expect you to uh, come along and do that. Really did not expect you to do that. Okay, I am a little bit surprised. Now, they can't get to them immediately, but they might be able to do that next turn. And in fact, I'm worried enough to send up the uh, the spearmen. Yeah, St. Petersburg is going to be in a world of trouble. Don't mind losing, um, don't mind losing that so much, but uh, I would really mind losing my city. That would be disastrous. I can adopt a policy... And we will. Um, discipline is good, uh, just not that good yet. Citizenship is fairly decent. Yeah, in fact, let's do it. Citizenship. I want to have plenty of these improvements all over the place. But uh, more than anything else, if at all possible, I would like to get. Uh, I would like to get a. There we go, a great library has been built in the faraway land. Told you, that's the first thing they build. Damn fuckers. Alright. Well, that's production wasted. A lot of it. Well, pyramids. Uh, plus one movement for all civilian units, plus 25 tile construction speed. Great. Don't get me wrong, great. A lovely world wonder. I love it, especially because I build improvements in situations where I rightfully shouldn't uh, a lot of the time. Uh, you'll note that in, in especially in this mod and in Civ in general, a lot of times improvements aren't that important. Early game, yeah, but late game, most of your popul the population is working inside the buildings rather than uh, on the field. So, yeah, it, it doesn't really become that uh, that important later, but I tend to build a bunch of tile improvements regardless as... Uh, I guess more of a um, micro thing, or more of a habit thing, sorry, more of a habit thing than a, than a realistic need. Right. Don't really mind them, uh, them pillaging a little bit around Moscow, as long as they don't take anything from me. We've had a little bit of uh, influence with Prague, but it doesn't matter too much. It's one of the reasons why I really love to play as Austria. I think Austria is one of the most, um, for me personally, one of the one of the best nations to play as, simply due to the fact that they can um, they can annex city states. Um, yeah, might as well attack. It is a little bit of a defeat, but we'll uh, we'll catch their attention and then we'll fortify them and they'll. That'll be the end of them. They'll run themselves up against me in, for, for a fairly large amount of time. Plus one gold for every four citizens in the city. My oh my, that is a lot. And you might you might not be aware of just how much that is. That is tons. Yeah, right now it's not, but trust me, that is tons. Wow. Right, well, horseback riding, uh, no point delaying that anymore, I don't think. And cross my fingers and hope nobody builds the pyramids in the next eight turns, because that would be really bad for me. But you're really not going to? Okay. Uh, while defending, if the attacker has... If the attacker's HP is less than 80, the attacker will lose all movement points after attacking this unit. Mm, or 50% versus a mounted units. I guess, close to combat. Then uh, attack them again. 
And you can run around and explore some more. We found Florence. It's lovely indeed. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah, having spearmen uh, fight, you know, units that are an entire age above them is, is not the greatest thing in the world. Tell you what, fortify until healed. That should uh, enable you to survive. Oh, hello. Bismarck, okay. B embassies? You do have a city, correct? Yes, you do. You do have a city, okay. Just... I'm a little bit sceptical, always. Always a little bit sceptical. And I just want to make sure that the AI is doing its job and, and is not wandering around with one settler around the map finding a place for its city. Because that did happen once. <laughs> really did. Right, uh, you should be able to survive an attack from... Yes, indeed you will. Okay. The bonuses for fighting on, on our territory is... Sorry, are immense. That was a scumbag move, and... Will ult it did ultimately... <coughs> sorry, it did ultimately lead to their demise, but... That was just utter, utter scumbag. Just, you're being dicks at this point. There's no reason to kill civilians, you're just being dicks. Whoa, okay, let's back off. <laughs> what is this? German militia? What? Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, custom unit textures. Did not notice that. Okay. Really did not notice that. You're offering me three gold per turn for a bunch of citrus. How about five gold per turn? No. Well, three. Fine, you can take it. Yes, I know the, the standard deal is fine. Oh, fuck off, really? Three turns away from completing it, someone built the Terracotta army. Damn, and there's another unit of swordsmen approaching from that direction. Right, um... Uh, we're in a bit of a problem, then, if that's another unit of swordsmen. Which it is. Um, so you're going to go over there. You're going to go over there. And you're going to build a... An armory? What does an armory do? It allows me to build these things, I assume? Yes, it does. Elite infantry. Requires buildings, barracks, and Sparty Arts training project. Hmm. No, thank you. Uh, the Colossus of Rose would be a good thing. We can finagle it. Though it does take away two manpower, I'm not sure I want that. This thing is great as well. Fine. Go for it, why not? I don't see why not. I'm assuming I'm going to go in and start pillaging all of these things, which... You know, I'm not fine by that, by any means, but... Uh, there's not a lot I can do about it, I suppose. Let them burn. Let them burn Moscow all they want. We will strike back eventually. Uh, is there any point in moving them? I suppose there is. Uh, let's wait one more turn, though. And then to there, I assume, and then get burn that as well. Yep, to there instead. Okay. That actually works a little bit in my favour. And let's... yeah, sure you're free to explore all you want, but um... really another barbarian swordsman unit. Okay, I'll retreat to that spot and bombard them. I'm gonna need to buy some units. Luckily, we do have plenty of gold. Uh, buy say plenty of gold. Not really plenty, but. We do have some gold. Range uh, combat. They do 10 range damage. These guys have 20 strength. That's not ideal, in case you haven't noticed. Not ideal. Um, okay. First. Army. Regiment. That's the naming system, right? Yes, it's the naming system I invented, and I'm questioning myself whether that's my, aiming, my naming system. It's... 
I'm, I'm, I'm a funny person, I know, I know. <laughs> right, um, stay there and defend the civilians, the most noble task indeed. Uh, does this remind you a little bit of Civilization VI? With the amount of barbarians all over the place, it reminds me a lot of Civilization VI, actually, because I've played through the horrors of the early game. Oh, not real horrors. Actually, 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 it's fairly easy once you get into the mindset of the AI, but let's not talk about that right now. We're playing an entirely different game. I'm going to get some flanking bonuses in. And there we go, practically decimated them. Then uh, you... I... I can't mobilize you, can I? No. Then just sit there for now. As unfortunate as it is, there is not a lot we can do. Yeah, that's a worrying amount of damage to Moscow. On the upper, on, the, on the, like the, the plus side, we did manage to construct the pyramids, which is a miracle on even on its own right. Usually the AI is very unforgiving when it comes to building stuff. I like world wonders and, and whatnot. But, um, it's... Here's the thing, here's my philosophy. You can always build a library later. You can always build an aqueduct later. The Oracle, the Pantheon, or the Parthenon, sorry. You can never build that later. You can build that now. And, um, if you don't, someone else is going to build it, so... There's my, um... My way of thinking, I suppose. But uh, we really do need an aqueduct. We need to grow our cities. Big and strong, yeah? By the way, thank you to Krasimir for providing the iron that we oh so desperately need to fight off the barbarian scum. For those of you that don't know anything about the mod, I feel like I should mention as well another feature. That is the fact that... There are war casualties. I'll explain what that is in a bit. Basically, um... I'll try for attacking. Yeah, sure. Shock. By the way, yes, it did change the upgrading system for all units, which changed just to a far better and the more su just more superior. Yes, I, no, that's not how it goes. To a far superior system and then a far better system, in my opinion. But uh, back to the back to, to back to my original thought. Um. And that is the uh, the war casualties. There's a thing whereby if you lose a certain unit in combat, there is a chance that you will also lose a civilian unit somewhere on the map. Most of the time, it's relatively nearby to where the unit was fighting, or it could be the city where the unit was recruited in. But uh, it's it's really a, a nice feature that there is now penalties behind you losing a bunch of units on the, on the map. Other than, than just being, you know, slightly annoyed that you're going to need to rebuild them all, there's now more deeper mechanics behind that and really makes you want to save those units and, uh, and protect them as best you can. Right, uh, coffee for salt? Absolutely, my friend. We're going to get cotton soon, that uh, contributes to happiness right now more than anything else. What is it, when defending? Um, okay, I like it, I like it. But the social policy too, ooh, cool. This is becoming more and more useful, I think. Hmm. Plus two food, plus more gold for every city. That is also very useful. I want to be a republic. I really want to be a republic. Because it's basically, you know, gold is uh, always useful. Though one of the things that people don't really like is the emphasis that it puts on uh, caravans and trading. Caravans now make a shit ton of money, as you can see. Uh, combine them with a caravan sarai, and you're in the you're in the green, as they say. You're all about that paper. So, well, gold actually, and then coins. But you get my point. Um, they, they've overemphasized that a bit. Now, with V6 of this mod, they do seem to be turning away from that a little bit. Back to a more, more vanilla sieve um, way of doing things, which is a, a rich city. A big city makes a lot of gold. Uh, but usually, that is. 
which does make sense, and I applaud that definitively. Now, start repairing all the damage that those bastards have done. What I would like to do is get another civilian unit, if not possible, and that's just 90 gold, so let's do that. Oh, and another caravan. I'm going to be tasked with repairing that, and then building a road, and the caravan is going to go to Colombo. That is provided we discovered it. I think we've actually discovered it. Like, we, do have, we do see a route to it. If not, we're going to send the uh, spearmen to scout it out a bit more thoroughly. Mm hmm. I'm going to win this, right? Most likely. We'll most likely win it. Can you go to Colombo? Yes, you can. You can see what... Eh, look at that. Like, 20 gold. That is a fortune. An absolute fortune. Build something. Uh, what is the multiple question here? The Parthenon contains six tourism. That is not that good. This gives you free policy into culture, uh, but uses two manpower. Not that good either. No, we're going to wait. When do we get construction? 12 turns. That means... I can start working on something else, like a library or, you know, something like that. Uh, don't exactly need iron right now, though the production from there would be really nice. But connecting the two cities would be even better. Let's do that. More so for uh, military means than um, than anything else. I'm having um, basically moving troops to and through, um, well, back and forth. Sorry, between Moscow and Saint Petersburg would be most useful. Uh, you're in, you're in, a, you're in range of those guys, so uh, pull back. Trade route plundered between me and Colombo. Really? That I did not expect. I do intend to investigate. Yes, I do, because we now have a swordsman that can take care of any. Attacks from the left or right side of the two fair cities that we built. You might even say that this is a tale of two cities. There's a book by Stephen King, I think. Embarrassing, embarrassing. The, though the fact that I quoted literature in one of my videos is an improvement. Is definitely an improvement over what I usually quote. Right, let's go to Bratislava, that's uh, fairly safe trade route most of the time. But uh, they really have like a barbarian unit sitting right there. While with the amount of swordsmen running around the place, I really am not that surprised. There they are. Damn! Oh well. Uh, don't suppose there's really a point to, to building that. They're just going to come in and uh, burn it down, so... Yeah, repair what they what they ruined previously. And you can go up there and show them your teeth. To all intents and purposes. There we go. We now have a road connecting St. Petersburg to Moscow. Or Moskva, as they say. Take them out, you're going to earn some experience in the process. And I'm not going to be so annoyed at them. Because they're dead. Now, what tiles? Are, what tiles are you actually working on? You really like this road, don't you? Because it has both production and the other thing. But we don't have construction, nor do we have currency. Right, we're going to leave this. I'm going to build uh, trading posts here. Because usually ones put on roads like this, connecting two cities, tend to give a, a bit of bonus gold. So, let's go down here and build a farm, then. Yes, I'm consciously avoiding this tile, even though it would be rather beneficial to have it. I can't protect it, though, which is, you will admit, a fairly important thing. National Fair requires a caravan serai. What does it do, though? What does a national affair do? Give me, gives me, sorry, gives me uh, plus five consumer goods, a free caravan, and a plus one trade routes. Trade routes are gold. Quite literally, they are gold, which uh, 
Yeah, you will see soon enough. That does make me want to buy one. Uh, how much does it cost to build a caravan? Oh, sorry, to buy a caravan, sorry. 160. That's nothing. That is literally nothing. Let's do this and then that. And since I've exhausted all other options, you might as well go down there. Okay. There we go. Now, Colombo, you're not going to be pissed off at me because I'm sitting on top of your land, are you? I mean, I killed a barbarian. That, that's why I'm there. It's really no other reason. Uh, you're going to pull back to there and fortify. You're going down there and you're going to construct something. Reason being, they can go down there or they can go into my land. If they go into my land, I will begin fighting them. If they go down there, I will be able to intercept them. But should they decide to back off, that would be equally fine with me until I get archers, which are um, really quintessential for uh, any type of defense at any point on the map, be it a city, be it a border, be it whatever. Besides, I'd much rather fight you in my own forests rather than in the middle of nowhere. There we go. Now, I haven't done a lot of exploring. I think it's time for you to go on your merry way down into what would be the Middle East. A Parthenon has been built in a faraway land. That's completely fine by me. Just do not build a Colosseum. Colosseum is, the Colosseum is fantastic. And, uh, well, I'm almost, I've almost built it, so... Yeah, if you can, you can, if you can not touch the Colosseum, I would be really happy. Question is, does Bratislava have the capability of defending itself, or do I need to keep like a, a unit there, defend? I think, I think they can. They're like thirty-six strength in the city, much better than than Moscow or Saint Petersburg. What are you doing next? Oddly enough, nothing. I think. Uh, yeah, this looking at, at this part of the map reminded me of something. Well, I should build more more land. Uh, no, I can't build land. That's not well. That's not entirely not true either. You, you'll see what I mean towards the end game. You can actually build certain tiles and and whatnot, mostly bridges and and that type of stuff. But um, what I meant is I should I should settle more cities, probably in like this direction. Basically towards uh, towards Warsaw. They don't really want to go towards Europe. And, I mean, objectively speaking, the correct thing to do would be to settle this area up here, because it's uncontested, pretty much. But we can do that later, as I, as I always say. Why rush it? Why, why hurry towards something that there is no point hurrying towards? Build a caravan, though. Build another caravan to replace the one that has been pillaged. And you can... Well, you can attempt to go around that... Um, that uh, barbarian encampment. Don't know how much success you're going to have in, in that regard, but... You won't know until we try, I suppose. There we go. The Hanging Gardens have been built in a faraway land. Okay. I'm fine with that, just as long as these two aren't built anywhere. Construction, good. Oh, we really can't go around that, can we? No. Well then, you did not sit there with the settler, really. thought you'd move it somewhere. Well, do what you will, and far be it for me to tell you what to do. Next, militia. That's... ah, I know what that is, okay. Uh, currency? Currency's really good. Really good. They've saw windmills. Ah, currency first. Bling a bit safe, um, which you, know, you might not think so. But I am. Uh, sure, we can build a farm on the other end of that riverbank. Begin building a road, actually, towards there, like the, the hills over there and whatnot. 
Uh, I should calculate this. So one, two, three, four. Presumably from here, one, two, three, four. So like there would be a good spot for a city. Ooh. While stands the Colosseum, Rome shall stand. When falls the Colosseum, Rome shall fall. And when Rome falls, the world. True. True. Very much, um... No, he was right. I mean, not literally, but... In many ways, he was right. Uh, actually, Lord Byron was... Wasn't he, like, uh, an English lord? Yeah, I... Yep, okay. That, um... He was right... But with hindsight, so it doesn't count at all. Now. Now we have a big decision before us. The Colossus or the Settler. Uh, yeah, going, for, uh, going a bit taller than usual. Do I need to explain that? I'm pretty sure I don't. Yeah, going for, for more development rather than number of cities and amount of territory. Does that make sense? Should. Really should. I can start building a road in that direction. Right, you're gonna give me man- Really? Manpower is a tradable resource? How did I not know that? You wanna give me five manpower and two gold for a bunch of furs? I do not want your, your manpower. I want- what, Will this work? Yeah, what do you wanna give me for this? Sure, I'll take it. Why not? Manpower is a tradable resource. I'm not sure what to think about that. I actually, I think I disagree with that. I don't think manpower should be tradable. Yeah, the more I'm thinking about it, the more I'm, I'm like, manpower should not be tradable. If you want to give away units, that's fine. But manpower? I, I have a problem with that. Sorry, no. No. Shh. Sure, you can go to Prague, though. I don't expect you'll live very long. Yeah, that's a problem. Korea, hello. How the hell did I meet... Sorry. Did I... Presumably I clicked, clicked the right thing. How the hell did I meet you? Wait, what? Where did I see one of your... I didn't see any of your units. What are you talking about? Oh, fine. Uh, here, the Statue of Zeus. What does it do? Mm, requires honor, which makes me think that not a lot of people are going to build that. Gives free walls. Not that good, really. Looks incredibly cool, but it's, like I said, not the best thing in the world. You know what? A settler. Uh... Unhappiness 200. What? Um. I. I hope that's wrong. Really hope that's wrong. I. You, you want me to get 200 unhappiness from building a settler? I. There, there must be something I'm missing. Well, Ozarm, as they say. No, that's what I wanted to check. You have eight strength. That's piss poor. Sorry. Oh, a scout must have passed through the area. That's a Korean scout, right? Yeah, that's how we met. That's how we met Korea. Well, fair enough. Now you can de you can get demobilized, and you got Krakow down there. Fair enough. Uh, let's get my swordsman into play and have you fortify. Because if I can get them to attack me, that would be, well, that would be ideal, really. And uh, you can sleep for the time being. Spartiates training project is fine. Oh, a statue of Someone did just build the statue of Zeus. Okay, I'm a bit impressed. Alert, and sit there as well and stay alert. We don't need to actually attack that bandit camp, remember that. Well, we will when we get archers, which, um, speaking of which, I really should buy some right now. That's also a thing. I usually buy my units in this mod, not build them, because there's far more important things you can build 
that are not archers, or any military units of any kind, really. But, uh, yeah, spending like 300 gold to, to get a, a, an archer unit or whatever type of unit is um, usually considered just fine and um, economically acceptable. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really sorry for that, for that unit to Korea. I, there is quite literally nothing I could have done. Really, three swordsman units. I... Fine, fine, build three swordsman units. Who cares? It's... I mean, we're, you're no longer outnumbered when these guys get here, but not ideal for me either. Horsemen require, well, horses, duh, so we don't have that, but probably require an armory too, don't they? Yeah. But building another unit of swordsmen, that might not be that, that bad of an idea. This is 1st Army 1st Regiment, 1st Army 2nd Regiment. Right, let's rename you. 1st Army 3rd Regiment. 1st Army 4th Regiment. There you go. And that means that we're going to grow, well, at least on paper, should mean that we're going to grow a little bit more attached to our units than... Usually, um, especially to the, like I said, especially to the um, ships and stuff, which will, which will carry far more distinguishable and relative names. Or relevant names, sorry. For example, maybe one of you guys, maybe uh, a friend, like I said, maybe a famous general from, well, I, think, I guess since we're playing as Russia, Mike. Yeah, why not? A famous Russian general or something along those lines. The... Okay, well, I'm totally going to build a carrier and call it Admiral Kuznetsov, for example. Now, I'm going to get discipline because we're going to need it in uh, precisely this fight right here. Now, this is a bit of an advanced strategy. Well, a bit of an advanced strategy. It's something that you might usually not see. They can get to the archers and most likely butcher them. Strength 8, strength 20. Yeah, they will butcher them. Which means if I do this, the archers are protected but can indeed engage. Like so. There we go. And we're going to fortify these units. By the way, where the fuck, where the flip is my religion? Don't swear, you idiot. Yeah, and I'm not exactly doing tremendous on, on faith. Ah, I suppose I am focusing on world wonders rather than, than anything like that. And I think it's reasonable to assume that we're going to need another unit of swordsmen. But, um, you know what, I'm going to build another unit of composite bowmen instead. We have two units of swordsmen, they're not the be-all end-all. Right. And fortify. Then, uh... I suppose attack again, right? No point stopping. And you... Uh, just sit there and fortify the next turn. Building, like, um, a wall of flesh between us and them and... Showering them with arrows over the top of this said wall. Mm, okay. St. Petersburg can fire upon an enemy again. Fair enough. You can't get to me immediately because there's a forest between us, so it's a safe attack. Mind you, attacking now would be a little bit... Yeah. Would be sensible. Yeah, because you're isolated from the, uh, the rest of your comrades, and so am I here, so... Seems like a sensible idea to me. And you can kill them off before joining the uh, the front lines, I suppose. Also, I really should rename you as well. It's Army 5th Regiment. But there we go. This has been it for this video. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe down below if you enjoyed. As you'll be able to stay... Oh my god, Budapest is getting sacked. Yeah. Uh, as you'll be able to stay tuned with the series. And you'll be supporting me out quite a bit. Until next time, take care and bye-bye.